We need to talk. Oh no. You've probably been wondering why we've seemed so distant. And to be fair, we haven't really been posting very often. And we just wanted to let you know that it's not you, it's us. No, we're not breaking up with you. The last two years have been crazy for us. Crazy in a good way, just very busy. We got the shop up and running and ready to go. We started consuming a ton of information on how we can make the business run the best, what strategies we needed to have. We started writing checklists, getting everything ready to go, and we just can't start it. We can't, our hands are tied. So let me back up a little bit. When we first started the business in North Dakota, we needed to learn how to operate lean and we had to adopt a mindset of total efficiency. And what I mean by that in a woodworking business is a lot of times woodworkers spend an insane amount of time making one part of one project perfect. We realized we couldn't really do that because then we'd have to charge the customer for all that time and labor we were putting into it. So we had to figure out where do we need to cut down? What parts do we need to speed up and figure out like a nice, efficient, streamlined process for? And as some of you may know, that is not necessarily the way that the government um, and the military works. And honestly, they can't work that way. Their main job is to accomplish important missions and stay funded. That's just what they have to do, which is perfectly okay, it's just, it's in complete competition with how you run a business efficiently. So we were living our lives with split mindsets. What we were learning in our business wasn't at all applicable to our day jobs. And what we were learning in our day jobs was hurting our bottom line for the business because they're two polar opposite organizations. And our military jobs were just taking up all of our free time, which is fine. That's what we signed up for. We wanted to serve and everything. That's, that's okay. It's what we signed up for but it wasn't sustainable long-term, especially in light of the fact that our physical and emotional health was suffering because of the time requirements for our job and trying to run a business. And when we took a step back and realized that our side hustle business was helping us achieve our life goal of helping more people turn potential into progress than our military jobs were, it was a no brainer that we should spend more time on our business and less time on our jobs. We were looking for a convenient way off of the career military path that we were already on. And then came our dream jobs. So we decided to just kind of take a hold of our own futures a little bit. And we found this opportunity for these part-time military jobs that happened to be in our dream unit. <laughs> we never thought we'd get there. And here the opportunity falls right in front of us. If you're wondering exactly what these new jobs um, entail to be so amazing that we it's with hurricane research. Plus it's more of an operator based job. We are actually flying into the storms rather than sitting behind a desk. So it was just an opportunity where we had to say, hey, our life is going one direction and we really kind of want it to go a different direction. What are we gonna do about it? So instead of just sitting around and letting life happen to us, we had to make a decision to do something. So what does any of that have to do with our lack of video posting. <laughs> People are like, um, wow, I don't get it. <laughs> so with all of the wonderful things about our new job comes a complete retraining. Um, we graduated college with weather degrees, um, but there's still a significant amount of, uh, of training. I, they don't just let anybody fly into a hurricane without training, believe yeah. it or not. And I mean, so, we're switching into completely different career fields. Um, so we're yeah. having to do a lot of training, a lot of back-to-back -back schools and classes and just mm -hmm. military stuff where they drop you orders and you go, no questions asked. So it's been really hectic um, trying to keep a consistent upload schedule. I thank you guys for being patient with us. Yeah. We're not trying to like make excuses or anything, but <laughs> um, we got to do what we got to do to make this transition in our life happen so that when we hit the ground running with our business, Everything is taken care of. Yes.
tried filming this on the beach. It was a little too windy. But basically, this is a race. And yes. like a racehorse, we're standing behind the gate waiting for the gun to go off. All hyped up, we're amped, we've got all the energy and the intention in the world. And it's just, it's, it's not gonna go yet. And yes. when we take a step back, we realize just how blessed we are. We're not trying to complain or say that, you know, our life sucks or anything. It's just frustrating mm -hmm. when you spend two or three years setting up for something and you just can't get started yet. That's why we made this life switch, is so that we could have part-time jobs. Um, we're just in the process of getting to that part-time part. And again, this is our dream job in our dream unit, and it's only part-time. So I guess all what I'm trying to say is we can't have the awesome opportunity to start the business without this other job on the back end. Mm -hmm. And so we need to transition all of our angst and frustration <laughs> and channel that into gratitude and continue to sharpen our blade. Yes. What is it, the silly, I don't know if it's, like a tr it's attributed to Abraham Lincoln, but he said oh, something yeah, like, yeah, if yeah. I had four hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend, you know, four of the <laughs> three hours sharpening my ax or something <laughs> silly like that. So I don't know, I'm abusing the quote, but it's so, it's the same thing. Like yeah. we should spend our time focusing on how to build the business better without trying to talk ourselves into circles. We've done that plenty of times. Yeah, so we're really spending time on solidifying our processes, writing checklists, kind of organizing some of the plans that we've laid out in the past. Figuring out packaging for these boards, things yes. like that. So we're gonna continue to do that. We've got a couple more videos lined up for you, um, but that's the reason we haven't been posting a whole lot is because we've been dealing with training dates and all sorts of schedule changes and yeah. stuff like that. So content is coming. It's just, it's been a little slow for a while. And anyway, that's all about over with. But one thing that has gotten our complete attention this entire time is the stud stack. And a lot of people don't know about this. Like we yeah. talk on Instagram all the time and people I just know. don't know what this is, but the stud stack is a Facebook group that we run and it's a paid Facebook group, but it's only people that run maker businesses. Mm -hmm. So you get to brainstorm ideas with other business owners. You get people that are financially invested in their businesses success. So there's not a lot of armchair warriors or a bunch of people that are just, you know, throwing out their uh, random ideas. It's actually people running a business, giving you advice mm -hmm. and tips and ideas. And, and nobody's in competition either, which is beautiful. You're literally just discussing ideas and you know, bouncing concepts back and forth. Go ahead and lock in your price if you've been thinking about joining before the price goes up and you won't have to worry about the price increases if you lock in your price now. So that's been getting our full attention because those guys are paying for us to facilitate that discussion yeah. and those conversations. So we post three or four times a week. We do hangout sessions mm -hmm. on Zoom. We do all sorts of um, stuff. We, we give away free programs. Every Friday we drop a discount yeah. code for a free program. So if you've been thinking about buying our programs, that's a great way to just get a couple of them for free in that group. The easiest way for you to sign up is just to go to our Patreon and sign up for the $30 tier. I'll leave a link right here. It's also in the description of every video. Um, but that has been getting our full attention Absolutely. while the videos and production of our business has kind of been taking a back seat. Yeah, so the content, it's not over. Some people have commented and said, did you quit YouTube? No, absolutely not, not even close. Um, we still plan on putting out content. In fact, we just came out with another platform. We are now on LinkedIn. So if you're on LinkedIn, um, go find us there. Make sure you search us under a company page because uh, that's what we're set up as. And there, LinkedIn is really meant for like the side hustler, somebody who's you know got an outside job just like us and is also trying to run a business. How do you manage your time? How do you you know deal with conflict, prioritization? That's the focus of that page. Um, but yeah, like we said, more to come. You guys enjoy the rest of your week. I am gonna go rub aloe vera all over my <laughs> lobster chest, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. That's so gross. I know.